Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the shiny only Fire Mile type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. Last time we made our way to Peter City and got our first gym badge. Also, off camera, I went back to Green City to stock up on Safari Balls because up ahead is Mount Moon. And on the way there, we should be able to catch another Fire type. But first, let's beat up this asshole. Because money's a little hard to come by in the early game, and it will be until I get myself a Versus Seeker. Assuming that's still in this hack in the same spot. Eh, we're not going to need Sunny Day for this, I don't think. It also won't take that much longer to evolve Garmer. Or, no, I think it's just Garm. Old Norse can be challenging like that sometimes. Well, who knows? Maybe we might end up evolving it before the end of the episode. We'll see. Take you on now. Oh, that's going to be a useful opponent to test hidden power on. Because Garm's hidden power is psychic type. Which is great. It means I can cover its weakness to fighting types. Now let's use Sunny Day for this. That'll boost the power of Ember. <clears throat> yeah, the, the TM shop in Pewter City lets you buy Sunny Day, among other things. It's also how I got Dragon Claw for Agni. Uh, we're gonna do this, huh? That's what I thought. Yeah, I am. Too bad. Anyways. I'll fast forward until we get the Pokemon I'm looking for. So this is the Pokemon we're looking for, Ralph, but we want a shiny version of it. Anyways, moving on. Okay, let's take on this guy real quick. I don't trust you. I don't fucking trust you. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, a whole lot of good that did ya. Now here we are, that's what I wanted to see. And we gotta be careful. Please don't poison. Oh, fuck you! Of course it would use Roar. Oh yeah, we picked, just picked up a stag here. I believe this is the level the Hound Hour evolves at. Yep. Now we have ourselves a Houndoom. Alright, we have another shot. I'm not taking any chances this time. Ultra Ball, go! And stay in there. That's Pokemon number five. Now, what to call you? Hestia, after that one Greek goddess in the Greek pantheon that everyone forgets exists. We'll go back to the PC and get your role. We're gonna box Farag temporarily, just cause, well, I wanna keep getting pickup items, and also, it's pretty high up in level now. Moving on. But yeah, all right. You. Here comes the next challenge. Yo, that's a good question. Why am I not wearing shorts? Oh, that's right, because there's a lot of bugs around here and I don't want to get bit. Okay, this is going to get annoying.
Yeah, I may do a bit of level grinding off screen just to get Ralph caught up. Shroomish is definitely a Pokemon I'm gonna want to get before. Well, not Shroomish, Paris. Because that'll let me use both Cut and Flash at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck you two. Hope that was worth it, because here's your prize. Ended up getting another nugget from one of my uh, Zigzagoons, so I'm going to get a couple of TMs, I think. I think that should do it for now. Moving on. Oh, I rebattled you, I think. Anyway, let's see. Nope. Yeah, I don't trust you. Good thing that I have a dark type attack. You don't get why. Watch. And there's a certain episode of my Emerald ROM hack, which, uh, a ROM hack playthrough where you'll see exactly why I'm wary of why not on Lava Fest. Keep in mind that while it may or may not have broadcast by now, I have actually recorded the entire series for that already. So, I'm gonna try and keep spoilers for that to a minimum. Okay. You're not a trainer. Just like in the base game. And here we get to the Pokemon Center. And of course, there's a salesman over here you can buy a magic heart from. Ordinarily, I would actually pick it up. Because a Gyarados early on could be very powerful, but this time we're not gonna do that because we're using fire types. Moving on. So also yeah, there's an exterior portion now, and now we enter Mount Moo. Okay, so first things first, let's go to the left. Mount Moon's layout has definitely changed, that's for sure. Ooh, Gligar. I like Gligar. Can't use it, but I like it. Okay, level 20. What the? Okay, I just... Yeah, that's what I thought. Repeat Ball! So, Pokemon I've caught before, that'll have a higher catch rate against. First Shiny of Mount Moon, and it's a Paris. I want this. That'll be a useful HM Slave later, because it learned I can teach it both Cut and Flash. That'll be useful for getting through Rock Tunnel. Okay. What are we going to call you? Shrooms! Okay, so apparently you can find Kadabra in here. Good to know. Because, uh, yeah, Kadabra this early in the game is a bit of a game breaker. I highly recommend getting one if you're a psychic monotype or just a regular playthrough. Anyways, moving on. Well, you're going to be hiding here an awfully long time then. Bye bye. Oh. Well, that didn't help you any. Bye bye. Yeah, you did. Moving on. So. Oh, another shiny. What is it? Geodude. Again, shinies are not that uncommon, so I guarantee you I'll find a, I'll find more. 
Like, remember that shiny Pidgey from the first episode? I encountered no less than four of them while trying to find a second shiny Growl for this episode. Ooh, Torchic. I got note to sell. Check the Pokedex so I can see where I can get that. Okay, so let's uh, you know what? let's do that right now. Should be around here somewhere. There it is. Back on Route One, huh? Okay. Note to self: Go back there off camera and do that. I should probably do that now because it's a one-way trip. So, uh, be right. Ah, screw it. We'll go get it later. Now, if it's anything like vanilla, this should be our first encounter with a rocket grunt coming up. Oh, there's no rocket here. But there is an Everstone. Good, I need that. We're gonna give that... to... Kojin. I mean, it doesn't need it yet, but it will later. Just for safekeeping. Moving. Okay, so... Now, let's see. What else is there? Go away. Let's check out the southern end of the cave first. Ooh, trap inch. Go away. Red shard. Not sure how useful that's going to be here, but he and Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, you can trade those for fire stones. Ooh, swine up. Not going to get any use out of that. An Ultra Ball. Going back the other way now. Oh, what do we get this time? Ooh, Gligar. Another one. Okay, you're pissing me off. Go away. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go back and restore my power points because that was stupid. Okay, so we got a couple trainers here. Pretty sure you can only fight one at a time. Like it usually is in this game. Eh? Okay. Wasn't what I was expecting, but sure. Ooh, Coded Isle. That's our first rocket grunt. No, takedown sucks. Another moonstone. And steel wing. I don't know if I'll ever use that. Ooh, Fampy. There's another Pokemon we'll pick up. But we don't need it. Moving on. That's a very underlevel Mighty Enna, sir. Okay. Go away. What else is over here? Uh, nothing? Okay. Yeah, he did. Dragon Fang! Okay, I know who I'm giving that to. You can get use out of it. Okay, so I didn't even think about this. Apparently, there's a guy you could talk to in Professor Oak's lab where you can find starters. So yeah, if I can find a Torchic here, that's where I'm going to catch it. I take that as a yes. So, yeah, give me a moment. 
Oh, yeah, we can also find Cyndaquil here. Okay, that's another one we gotta get. Be right back. Found Cyndaquil. Let's go get it. First try. Alright, now what are we gonna call you? Contrary to what you might expect, this is not a Polish name, but in fact, Mayan. Alright, there's the other one we need. How many are you gonna take? Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Now, what am I gonna call you? Pele, not to be confused with the retired soccer player. And with that, we can leave. So, I'm gonna talk to this guy. And I'm going to have to train those Pokemon off screen. Give me a moment. Okay, so I swapped out my other Charmeleon for Cyndaquil here, and I'm also gonna have Torchic here. I'll put Eevee back on the team after we get through Mount Moon. Okay, note to self, you can find level 20 Sudowoodo on Route 2. And now, it should level up. Well, evolve it, rather, I should say. Yeah, Cyndaquil evolves earlier than most stars. The the Gen 2 stars are kind of interesting like that. They evolve either earlier or later than normal, depending on the species. And now Torchic should evolve. Oh, but first, it's going to learn Pack. There you go, your chicken turned into a bigger chicken. Oh yeah, and it can also learn double kick. And now we're back with all three starters, and... Well, now they've been strengthened a bit, and are ready to proceed the rest of the way through Mount Moon. Anything over here? Nope. I always come back through here with an item finder. I am pretty sure there are hidden items here. Hold up. Nah. It's a good move set for now. Yeah, after this, I probably am only gonna use pickup strats if I need to farm items, but otherwise, I'll just have my full team with me. Black glasses! I know that's going to. Yep. Uh, well, okay, first of all, Hesse is gonna get it for now, because... Well, actually, hold on. Do you even have a Dark-type attack yet? No, you don't. But it will, and once it does, it will get the Black Glasses. Hmm, another shiny Flygar, okay. Moving on. Next, the Rocket Grunt, here. And they have much more varied teams, I've noticed. Okay. Mm hmm Alright, let's swap out now. What'd you get? Power point up. All right. Go away. Oh wait. Uh, those of you that have played uh, Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, the grunt we're battling now—that's the player character in that game. Only I wish I could have had access to a Taylo that early. In that hack. That would be fun, a fun one to play uh, on the channel. I might record that one to do uh, a new crime run. That could be interesting. Well, except for the mandatory ones that you have to complete for the story. But that's another story.
Let's objectively an upgrade over Tackle. Another Gligar. Okay. Yeah, we found two Gligar on this floor in one segment. That should tell you that Shinies are not that hard to come by. Hearthstone boosts your rock type attacks, but I don't have any Pokemon that can take advantage of it yet. Alright. Pop out to you. It's kind of pointless because I can just capture the fossil Pokemon elsewhere. Like, I can find Kabuto and Viridian Forest. But, bruh, if you really want a Kabuto, just go to Viridian Forest, catch one there. You can even find shinies. Big Mushroom. I'm pretty sure that's... well, oh yeah, in Fire Red, there's a move tutor on the Sevi Islands. That will take them. Oh, and here's the exterior. Let's see. Oh, so this is where it goes. A rare candy. Good stuff. I bet there's some hidden items up here. So that's a shortcut to get back. Okay. Good to know. And these are move tutors that teach you Mega Punch and Mega Kick, but neither of them are very good moves. The normal type, unlike what you would expect. That's not the encounter music I expected for a black belt. Okay. Stay down. Fresh water. That's basically a cheaper super potion. Shell bell. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll give that to you for now. Oh, whoops. My bad. Uh, yeah, let's fix that real quick. Oh, for the love of God, hit the target! That was annoying. Okay, that does it. You want to be cheap? Fine. I can do it too. Yeah, it can be, and it just was. And that's the wild grass where you can counter a bunch of Pokemon. We'll deal with that later, I guess. One more black belt. Okay. So this is a martial arts class, okay. Mine's oh yeah, we're out. Reminds me of when I was in, uh, when I was studying Taekwondo, and uh, we used to train on the beach when we were studying to get our black belts. That was fun. Stopped going to that school after the master relocated across the school, across the country. He moved to Tennessee to set up the school there. And we have now made it to Viridian City, uh, Cerulean City, rather. I think this is a good place to call it. Um, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.